Members of the Army National Guard were joined by their families for a heartfelt send-off Sunday morning. Good evening, I'm Deanna Giles. Saying goodbye is never easy, but one soldier tells News 10's Mars Anderson completing their year-long mission and getting back to their families is the biggest reward. I want you to know that you make every one of us proud. Proud to be Michiganders, proud to be Americans, and proud to be here together. Governor Gretchen Whitmer in attendance Sunday morning as soldiers in the Army National Guard and their families say goodbye during a deployment ceremony. This is an opportunity to uh, uh, wish them well, say goodbye, show our pride in what the service members are going to do, but it's also an acknowledgement of their service and their sacrifice. 84 members of Lansing Base 272nd Regional Support Group will deploy to the Middle East. Major General Paul Rogers says the soldiers will provide support to other branches of the armed forces. It could be from contracting to housing to any number of different things to ensure that the service, other service members and units that are deployed can be focused on their mission and success. Captain Daniel Sackman will deploy for the first time in his career. He says while he is anxious, he's excited more than any other feeling. All the weapons qualifications, the team building stuff we've had to do, all the validations we had to go through, the first aid skills, absolutely I'm 100% confident. Our team was hand chosen, we're all excited, we work phenomenal together. Sackman says while this is huge for soldiers, the impact on their family is even greater. It's not goodbye. It's only temporary, right? You know, everyone comes home. That's always the goal, right? Um, but get that time with that family. Give them that closure that they need. Till they meet again once their mission is complete. In Lansing, Mars Anderson, News 10. The soldiers will deploy to Middle East for about a year. They're trained year-round before deployment. While the National Guard can't prepare their families for deployment, they want to extend support in the best ways possible.